There's a short window of time for heart attack patients to receive effective treatment. A certain number of hospitals receive a special accreditation from the Society of Chest Pain Centers, including Baptist Hospital DeSoto. Joining us to explain why this is important is Debbie Stubblefield, Director of Nursing for Emergency Services at Baptist Hospital DeSoto. And Debbie, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. So what does it mean to earn Chest Pain Center accreditation? To be Chest Pain Center accredited means that our facility meets or exceeds the highest standards of quality care in the cardiac arena. How does that benefit the patients? We are able to provide care that starts in the, in the field, even oftentimes at the patient's home, that extends into the emergency department, into the cardiac cath lab, uh, through an inpatient setting, and even into cardiac rehab after discharge. We also work on preventative education to uh, make our, sure our patients are heart healthy. Uh, we work with the community to teach CPR, we do a lot of uh, symposiums and education to keep our patients healthy prior to getting heart attacks. What has Baptist DeSoto done to enhance emergency care for heart attack patients? We've streamlined our processes inside the hospital as well as outside the hospital into the EMS community and as far as community service and education. Why is it so important for people to call 911 rather than drive to the ER if they think they're having a heart attack? Part of our processes and our commitment to the quality care for the cardiac patient at Baptist DeSoto is we have worked with EMS to provide technology to be able to get the EKG at the patient's home and transmit it to the facility so the patient's physician, the cardiologist, and the emergency physician can see the EKG before the patient arrives to determine whether or not they're having a heart attack. If a heart attack exists, we can have the cardiologist and the cath team in place prior to the patient arriving. Therefore, we can get them the care they need to open that vessel to supply blood to the heart muscle in a more timely manner. Uh, we also have utilized education. Dr. T Stanley Thompson teaches the EMS community how to recognize ST elevation, which is an acute heart attack, uh, on the EKGs three times a year, so our, our EMS services that do not have the capability to transmit EKGs in can still call in a reading and we can activate the CATH team. Thank you, Debbie Stubblefield from Baptist Hospital DeSoto for joining us here on Heart of the Matter. Thank you for having me.